Uh, so I have this concept called Therapunch, and I kind of need to give the backstory here because this is actually funny and involves running. So there's a nice tie in. So like a year and a half ago, right before the pandemic, I was running in the mission in San Francisco at like six in the morning. And it was an area where there was no people. I'm just kind of going and I have a green light. I'm running through the middle of the street in the intersection. And this dude in a super beat up janky car comes and turns right and like cuts me off and comes really close to hitting me. And I kind of jump away and gave him the like, what are you doing, dude? Look. And he rolls down his window and starts screaming out. And this is, I don't know if you want to believe this, but he's like, get out of the street, you stupid fucking bitch. And I was like, holy shit. And I'm not an aggressive person normally, but I had had a rough week and I was kind of on edge anyways. And normally I just turn my head and run away, but I (laughs) had to take every ounce of restraint not to go and just kick the back of his car. I was so pissed. I just wanted to punch something. And as I finally got smart and ran away, I was thinking to myself, there's something going on here, which made me want to go and punch his car or kick his car. And I was like, you know, everyone always tells you to go meditate, go download calm, go sit in a quiet room. Like, great, that's fine. I need to punch something. And so I wanted to go punch something and then meditate. So the concept here, and I think now is an interesting time because there's so much vacant real estate, is you buy up a- And rage. There's so much rage. (laughs) Rage. So much rage. Don't forget that part. So much rage. High demand. Well, there's also an established uh, concept of these rage rooms, smash rooms, break rooms. The problem with these are it's very dangerous. You have to put on a suit. You can hurt yourself. There's a lot of liability. And also there's a lot of cleanup. So this is the exact like low tech version. It's a padded room with padded walls, punching bags, things to like rip and pop. Imagine like stuffed animals, you could tear the heads off and you go and you connect to a Spotify rage playlist. And there's a bunch you can choose from. You go in for 15 minutes into one of these things. And if you guys have ever done boxing, 15 minutes, you'll be exhausted. So you just get it all out for 15 minutes. And then they take you to the Zen zone for 30 minutes where they have guided meditations and they have, you know, spa water and you can sit and meditate. So you go and get it out. Then you center yourself and then you go back to work. Sam, you're That's our great. resident uh, rager. So, uh, <laughs> how do you feel about this? No, that would make me way too mad. Like, I'd be like, "Motherfucker, I'm time to go to this fucking thing. I just want to smash this shit right now." As I like, I smash stuff. I, I, I like, like I, I do break. What's stuff, the last like, thing you've thrown or broken out of rage? Well, cell phone. I mean, I mean, everyone does that. Do I have my phone here? Do everyone I mean, does not do that. I don't no. think they do. I, I haven't done that. <laughs> my screen is is currently shattered. I mean, I just get angry and I'll, and, I, and I do that as well. But I, it, I like, and a lot of people tell you not to do that. I think it's great. Like you're just like it's cathartic. Yeah, you're just breaking a little thing that you could replace with some money and like so you're not hurting anyone. I'll give you a, a quick spin on this idea because I also think that the the timeliness, like I don't want to book and reserve the room. By then it's all dissipated and now it's a task. I don't want to go there. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm with Sam that you need the instantaneous release. Um, so, so the other thing I found interesting is there's a whole bunch of these like alternative – um, alternative therapy things that I find interesting. Cryotherapy, uh, where you go in and your your neck is out of it, but your body is in this like kind of like, I don't even know how low the temperature goes, but it's like this very cold, like kind of like liquid nitrogen gas that's put against your body. It's supposed to be great for recovery. There's the float franchise, which is all about floating mm-hmm. in this like salt water bath where you're weightless and you're in this po- light, you know, deprived pod. And like an hour goes by and you like hallucinate or whatever the hell else. I don't know. Joe Rogan talks about it. And, uh, I have a friend who gave me a pass to go do this once. And so they're awesome. There's float, float tanks. Uh-uh, never. Yeah, have you heard of it? Yeah, yeah. There's one in the mission, actually. I walk by it all the time. I have been to that one many times. And so there's, and then there's basically like, there's a set of these kind of like alternative things. And I wonder if you could create the equivalent of a gym membership that basically says, okay, instead of coming to this, like a gym membership is a giant box that has all the heavy equipment you're not going to buy for yourself, but you can come here and you can use it. And uh, I wonder if you could do the same if you bundled these together where you bundle the different therapies together, sauna, steam, cryotherapy, float tank, whatever. And it's a gym with no weights. And it's a gym basically for the brain to recover um, and to to relax. And uh, and you you, you put a whole bunch of these things together and maybe you create a different type of uh, wellness-like category. Would you ever do them back to back? Just thinking about what those all are. Would you ever go and be like, I'm going to spend two hours? Sounds intense. 
I like the, what about, what about a class pass for that kind of stuff? Because they're pretty niche today and they're expensive. And it's also not like a gym membership where class pass had so many problems. I could go into that, but, uh, I was one of the earliest users and they lost so much money on me, but ultimately they were hoping the vendors were hoping that you'd become a subscriber. But for these things, how often are you going to go to a float tank or cryo spa or whatever? So if it's more of a one-off thing and you want to try a bunch of stuff, they could actually end up making money on that. I actually started going quite regularly. I think the difference between San Francisco and where I live now, so I lived in San Francisco for eight years, right around the mission, is it's like kind of a pain to get from A to B, you know, because you have to take uh, an Uber or a bus. Uh, Or a bike. Or a bike. Um, Although I hated biking in San Francisco. Um, Now that I live in Austin, I'll just like, it's no big deal to like leave work at three and then go do the thing and come back by and be back by five to get some more stuff done. Um, and I do these uh, cryotherapy, which I don't even think does anything, but it's fun. I do the float tank. I love all that stuff. So I do think that could actually, people would do that more regularly than you think. Huh. Yeah. If there's yeah, food, I think people go somewhat regularly or like smoothies or something. I feel like that might work. On a side note, it, I've looked into the economics of these things before very briefly, but maybe we should do kind of a deep dive. Uh, these cryotherapy like uh, places and float tanks places, uh, these guys do actually pretty well. Like if you just kind of wanted to, if you wanted to buy essentially a high paying job for yourself, uh, you can you can get a location. You basically buy one of these machines for three thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, and no, then no, 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 then they, no, no, then they no. print money. I think, uh, I think they're way more. I, think they're- uh, I looked at the cryo the cryo stuff, and also uh, the second one is um, uh, these DEXA scan uh, places. Um, I love yeah. them. They it's just such it's like literally it's one employee. And uh, online booking, contactless payments, all this stuff. So you basically have one person who's usually it's their it's their place. Uh, sometimes they have kind of a junior person who watches it while mm-hmm. they while they leave for half the day. But it's very low labor, and it's just the same machine that pays itself off in the first X uses. Um, and X can be you know might take one month, might take three months, might take six months max. But uh, these businesses are, are pretty simple and uh, can do quite well. Have you heard of that business called DexaFit? The one they're like guys in a van. Yeah, they so, come to you yes. and do the Dexa they scan. They park in front of like company buildings usually, and they're like, "Hey, mm-hmm. come see uh, how fat you are." And then you know you pay yeah. eighty bucks and you go get scanned, or fifty bucks you go get scanned. They're the best. I go I, when I live <laughs> I in go San every three months. I go every three months. Same. Really? I would buy like a ten turn pass or something like that. It was maybe fifty bucks a turn, and you see progress. They are so awesome. It's a. I would imagine it's a pretty expensive machine, maybe a hundred grand per van. Um, they're really amazing. I would love to see what the revenue is. And eventually they bought a, they had a place right across the street from the, uh, Twitch studio or, you know, the studio Sean that we would go to. And it was like a crappy lobby with just like a cat scan and you would sit down in there and then you're out a few minutes. I love that business. I would, I'm curious as to how they do. Uh, Elaine, you ever seen this? I, I think I know what you're talking about. I've never done it. I'm curious with it. Is it telling you information you don't know? When you do it the first time, I get that that's a novelty. But if you're doing it every three months, do you not know how your body has been behaving no, over those three months? <laughs> it tells you your body fat percentage. And right. But like, don't you know if it like went up this month? Well, that's so that you want to measure the progress, right? So like, for example, uh, I'm working out right now. My actual weight stays the same because I'm adding muscle. I'm mm-hmm. losing fat. And so I'm like, fuck, this doesn't, I, I want my score to show the progress. I can see it in the mirror. And my trainer's like, dude, do you need this? You just look in the mirror. It's fine. And right. I'm like, yeah, that's true. But I like the science of it too. I'm like, it's 40, I think it's 45 bucks to go get DEXA scan. And uh, so that's me and cheap. my brother-in-law, we kind of made a habit out of it. And like, we're just like, okay, we're going to go get scanned every three months. That's how we measure our progress. And like, you know, great. We're down 3% body fat. Like, Let's do it again. The company you know? that we're referring to, it's called Body Spec. So the word body, body yeah. and then S P E C, Body Spec. And Sam, just um, so you know, it looks like the price of these range from between sixteen thousand and forty five thousand dollars. So that, yeah, still so not that bad. It's not that bad. And they like they're in like a like a Mercedes Sprinter, and they have like the car wrap. So maybe a hundred grand total. Um, I think this is cool. I love this company. Um, I don't know anything about their numbers, but I think it, it sounds so neat. It's so simple. The distribution yeah, for this is also good because they can partner with gyms. So they partner with CrossFits. They partner with um, you know trainers, and they're basically like, "Hey, you send it to client. You know, you get twenty bucks out of the fifty buck like like scan. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for the for, for every first time customer that you send in. And so they have a, like kind of a built in referral system that makes a yeah. lot of sense. I'm actually shocked, Elaine, that you're not like bullish on this because. When I go, it sounds like Sean and I are the same. When I, it's so rewarding. Like I'm pretty much working my ass off, for literally, scale. just yeah. to go from like 20% body fat to like 19.5%. Like I just think about that number constantly. 
I think I'm just not the target demographic at all because I've always been extremely into fitness, but I'm intrinsically motivated. So I don't, I don't, I'm not that person who, you, you know, what I was going to say though, a partnership opportunity for them is future fit because they're already charging people $200 a month for literally a digital subscription to a virtual trainer. And you can bundle in a lot of these other services and things like that. That to me feels like the demographic because the people I know that do future fit are the people that care about this stuff. They want to see incremental progress. They want to know their score constantly and they'll pay. I used future fit. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good and job. You're, everyone uh, keeps trying to get me to use it. I'm like, I don't need this. Like I, I, I just, I'm very, very competitive with myself. I have a Peloton, which you can see in the back and I've always been a huge runner and my mom actually won this like four years ago. And at the beginning I didn't use it a lot. And now I've been doing a lot more cycling during the pandemic because I hate running with a mask and I've gotten so much better at the Peloton, but I'm always trying to beat my own score. I don't need to know. I, I remove the leaderboard and stuff. I don't care about that, but it's, it's my own, my own score. One of your portfolio companies is called Tempo. Sean, have you tried the Tempo? It's Tempo. awesome. It is, it is so awesome. awesome. It yeah. is so awesome. Have you not tried this? I haven't tried it. You showed me the videos. If you had it in your garage, you still have it. I bought one. Yeah. Okay, so like, they sponsored us. So I got paid money oh, nice. to use their machine. And then I moved and they freaking took it back. I was so mad. And I'm like, yeah, just leave it. Let me have it. <laughs> they took it back after I used it. And I was like on the number one. I was at the time very, very in, uh, fit into that hit, hit stuff. And I was in yeah. shape. Um, and I was like number one in the category and I kept working my butt off to, to do it. And I just bought one the other day. I think I paid $1,800. It took eight weeks to get delivered. Um, and this is for the listeners. It's called Tempo Fitness or something. Just Google Tempo Fit. And it's basically like Peloton, but for weightlifting um, and for high intensity inter- interval training. It is so awesome. So addicting. I like am building my workout routine strictly around Tempo. I it has, it's like a mirror, like the, the mirror thing. So it's freestanding. It's not like tonal where you have to wall mount it. And it has, I think 185 or close to 200 pounds of weights. And it's got these amazing instructors that do all kinds of these hit workouts. We had one of the original beta units in our office and I was pretty much the only one that used it, but I used it all the time. I don't have room for it now, but uh, Sean, when our office reopens, you'll have to come in and try it. I'd love to. It sounds pretty dope. I remember Sam, uh, the video looked cool. I would say that the actual design of the box, I don't know if you had like kind of an earlier version or what, it wasn't as slick as like what a Peloton or mirror and whatnot looks like. It's not entirely slick. But I actually think they're making an error, be- but but it has a sensor on it. So it like tra- it can tell if you're lifting the weights and it counts it for you. So it's kind of hard to cheat. That's great. But but it's like a cabinet where they store the weights. And I think a lot of people actually already have the weights. So I wish they would sell it to me just so I don't have to use their weights. Well, it uses computer vision to not only count the reps, but it checks your form. So let's say you're doing a curl and you're only going 80% up. It'll call that out. Or if you're doing a lunge and your knee is going over your ankle. And so part of the weight counting involves their own weights, but all the other stuff, it's essentially creating a like a dot matrix of your body. So it's anonymized, but it can tell exactly what your form is. So it's like a real time personal trainer there, plus this celebrity trainer who's doing the class for you. It's, it's pretty freaking cool. You got to get one, Sean. They're good. It's, yeah. it's, it's worth it. But there is another downside. It's $50 a month for a subscription. Right. They all are though. I think that's crazy. <laughs> that's so expensive. That is so expensive. I cannot believe that. I think it's way too expensive. It's but, cheaper than a gym membership. Yeah, I know. You do that logic. Yada, yada, yada. You, you got my money. I mean, yeah. so I'm paying for it, but I still think it's Sam, nonsense. for the price of a cup of coffee a day, you could transform your body. <laughs> yeah. Fitness, by the way, is 10 bucks a month. So well, but think, okay. Think about the value you get from that versus essentially, in my opinion, future fit is paying for accountability. So you're paying $200 a month for a person on the other end to like sort of care about you. I get it, but. Like, I know what this costs them. I know, like, I I already bought bought this $2,000 machine. And, and, like, give me a year is free, at least. Um, They don't make a ton of money on the hardware part. They're making money on the subscription. Well, look, stop using logic on me. And (laughs) just let me be angry. (laughs) That currency is not accepted here. We're like a vending machine. You you, you keep putting it in and we'll keep keep spitting it it back out. (laughs) As long as you keep paying for it, I'm okay. I'm okay with removing logic. No, I'm paying for it. Another great one that you guys should look at is Argata. You guys know Argata? Sam, we're too famous now. We only use free shit that people give us. We don't pay for anything anymore. You, you know how it works. The more popular and rich you get, the less you pay for anything. So I, yeah, I, at this point, I, I, I don't pay for anything. I actually stopped giving out my address because I was getting so much free shit. And I was like, wait, 
maybe I shouldn't give out my home address to these like strangers on Twitter. So now I'm like, I'm like, no, thank you. I'm going to get one of those celebrity YouTuber PO boxes and be like, you know, just send it to my manager. Send it to my PO well, they box. They always say like, hey, I, I would love to send you X, Y, and Z. And you say, yeah. Cool. I, I just and give them Ben's address. Be like, hey, will you share? Right, right. I just give them Ben's address like, now. I'm like, give Ben all the free shit. And they're like, well, you're not in Brooklyn. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have a house in Brooklyn. <laughs> you can send me all the stuff you don't want to, especially yeah, if right. anybody sure wants like women to test stuff. Send it to me. I'll take it. I'm sure you're, you've got you. I've seen your portfolio companies. They're badass. You probably have so much great stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, follow me at zelby.substack.com. Z-E-L-B-Y. It's called Three Things. Every Sunday, I publish three business ideas and they're, uh, I would say somewhat well researched and thought through, but uh, they're all fun and they cover pretty much every topic you can imagine. And then also, if you like unsexy businesses, I do a podcast called Unsexy, and I just talk to founders building in super random niches like chemical marketplaces or companies wow. that are growing the growth media for lab grown meat. Just super random stuff, but I find it fascinating. You're like our sister from another mother. Yes. Honestly, Thank when you. I heard the podcast really early days, I was like, "Oh my god, these are my people." <laughs> Yeah, you're you're great. Thank you for coming on.